So I woke up this morning, like most mothers in LA, to news that our schools were closed to a terror threat. There's nothing like that fear for our kids' safety. And so that prompted me to make this video for all of us. Fear is contagious. It is really actually contagious. That as humans, we make what's called an alarm pheromone when we're scared. And that's a chemical that alerts other humans near us that there is danger. So when on the heels of two horrific terror attacks in the last month, Paris and San Bernardino, we get this credible threat that closes down the second largest school district in the country and 640,000 kids are sent home. That is a lot of fear. Fearful children and especially really fearful parents. And then you have all of these families glued to social media and the news waiting and waiting to hear if the attacks come. The fear grows. And if there's no attack, we still at some point have to send our kids to school again. And there's the fear again. So by now we have a collective fear monster and those that wish to inflict terror have won. They've gotten inside of us and hijacked our internal peace. And it's true. We need to have safety plans. We need to have that real talk about real dangers. But what happens to us if we stay in this heightened alarm state all of the time? Well, for me, I'm pushing back and I'm reclaiming my state of mind. I practice and teach a form of stress reduction called tension release exercises or TRE, and I'm practicing a lot more than I usually do. And if you already know them, how to do TRE, great. Now would be a great time to get busy with that. But if you don't, um, I want to offer some concrete steps that you can do right now. And probably the first and most important is to remember if you are fearful, your kids will be too. So calm yourself first. Oxygen mask on you first. And the little things like making sure not to get over hungry or thirsty help calm the body and prevent us from releasing extra stress chemicals. Definitely taking breaks from social media and news. A good break would be maybe taking a walk, moving your body in a way that feels good. I'm a big fan of a little mini dance party in the living room to a favorite song. That's a nice welcome break. And another tool that I find to be very, very helpful is visualization. And here it's to visualize a time when you felt especially calm, really safe and happy. Maybe it's a family trip to the beach or a special family holiday or memory. It doesn't have to be anything special. It just has to have those qualities of calm, safety, and happiness. And so take a few minutes to really remember exactly how you felt at that time. All of the senses, what were you seeing, hearing, smelling, even touching and tasting at that moment. The more real you can make the memory, the more you'll actually feel that peace and joy internally. By concentrating on those sensations, your body will actually start making relaxing chemicals. And you may notice a deep sigh of relief. You may even yawn. And once you've felt that shift inside yourself, that's the time to take some of these same tools to your kids. These are really scary times and we have to take really good care of ourselves so we can be the ones to work for peace and to shift our culture out of fear.